It's been fantastic um, just seeing the boys grow and develop in their gifts uh, just over this time. Uh, and not just that, the uh, relationships that they've been able to build with our local people up here. And I think that's one of the, the highlights of this team, that they are uh, emotionally and spiritually mature. Um, they're able to reach out, especially to our uh, Aboriginal brothers and sisters and build really strong and good relationship. They uh, have a confidence about them and uh, real leadership skills in, uh, in delivering the faith and uh, not just in a rote way, but they uh, share from their hearts their own personal stories, as well as being uh, really funny and uh, interactive with the dramas and the charades and, uh, and also going into those more spiritual times, personal times with the small groups and also uh, with the prayer times. It's great to see young men uh, ministering to other young people, giving them blessings and praying for them. I think the relationship uh, coming back over the years has been fantastic. This year the boys not only ran their programs and built up those friendships, but they went into the classes and one of the teachers was particularly impressed with the way that they all helped them uh, students learn uh, more IT skills and they just sat with the students and, and the relationships and the class experience was fantastic. So I'm really uh, looking forward to next year and the growth of uh, St. Eddie's uh, youth uh, ministry team and uh, I look forward to uh, them coming back and to growth in the future and, and that more of our Catholic schools will be open uh, to these fantastic young fellows. Alrighty, final day of the uh, Darwin uh, TV Islands mission trip. I just thought I'd do a quick reflection on uh, summarising it all up and how uh, what I've experienced over the last uh, eight days and what I've basically gained from, from this experience. Look, um, probably the big thing that stands out to me having three kids under seven back home is when we were at the TV Islands. Uh, the community barbecue where I think we fed over about 190 people just you know just people turning up uh, after the mass to see the young kids you know all similar ages to my own boys you know the innocence in them in their eyes and just you know how playful they they were you know on the night you know and you know I've got the photos to prove just the kids are just so loving and caring but it's also a concern when you then speak to uh, father Dan and you know a lot of these boys by the age of 25 are uh, have either committed suicide or end up being in the detention centres. You know, so that, that really concerns me that they don't have that support, especially parental support. I and mean, those father figures, I think that hit home because, you know, just to experience how much joy these kids, you know, display and to see they can be taken away just from, um, obviously, the economic environment, but also the demographics where they, where they live and, and the support. But that's, I think that's where the mission trip comes in into its own. You know, the boys spend so much time with these, with these individuals, you know, on the retreats in the schools. You can see how the Catholic education system is supporting a lot of these students and, you know, just provides them some guidance, but also a lot of support there. Finally, probably, how can I share this message with others, you know? Like, um, I think it really comes down to experiencing, you know, the mission yourself, you really need to um, come up here and witness. So look, um, I think, you know, hopefully I'll get the chance to come back again. I, there's a lot to be done. It really is just um, an eye-opener, the eight days. Um, I've noticed and witnessed the boys have made a difference in a lot of the students' lives. I hope it continues. Uh, it's definitely made a difference in my life. And I hope that continues too, you know. I've always had a belief of, of giving to others, but I think it's a lot more than just providing materialistic gifts and you know I think it's, it's a lot more spiritual than that 
That's what you leave with them and what they remember that's going to make a massive difference in their life. So uh, to sum things up, uh, great experience. Um, and make sure you get on board next year. From a lot of what I was writing down about what I've learnt and stuff, it's that uh, God can sort of come to us in, in a different kind of way. It's not a thing of, you know, he's right there in front of you. He sort of speaks to you in a different way. And there was one time when we were over at Bathurst Island when um, one of the young guys, he was probably seven or eight years old, we were running around and kicking the footy around. And then after the barbecue and stuff, he actually asked to pray with me. And I think that was one thing that uh, really stood out to me and you know, reinforced that thing that, um, that God does come to us in sort of different kind of ways. Second thing for me is that we're not up here to talk at them or for a monologue. It's all about a dialogue between us and between them. It's about us learning things from them and teaching things to them. We're not here to sort of preach and just to say, hey, you know, you should do this at the same time as us trying to share our faith with him, with them, we're sort of learning about their culture. I